First of all, to have an election in Lebanon with so really diverse uh, uh, people who really going into election is something really which I am proud of. Because if I look around Lebanon and see how many election and free elections there is as it is today. So you're confident then that this new government is going to push through with some of the sensitive reforms to gain credibility of both domestic and foreign investors? Now you mentioned the word sensitive. There will be reforms. How much important reforms, let's say take it at 50-50 basis as we are used here in Lebanon, and definitely there will be reforms and situation will be much better. In the domestic growth opportunities outside of working with the central bank have been fairly limited. What are you looking to achieve here? What's possible? For Bank Audi, it's a special case compared to other banks. Our income, our bottom line is 45% from outside Lebanon. So Lebanon is, of course, the major part, 50, 55, could be 60%, but it is not to really us. But definitely the income, I don't want it shrinking, but it is stabilizing. And definitely we need uh, more growth in the economy to have more income. And not only the income will come by the major part from uh, financial operations. Most people that I've been speaking to tell me that there are more banks in Lebanon than there really is a need for. Perhaps a chance for some acquisitions for you? I believe with what's happened in November last year, uh, it showed the need to more consolidation. Not among really big banks, small banks but even among really big banks. Uh, the country needs four, five, six banks really next to the central bank. And therefore, we believe that the trust will be definitely much bigger and much larger than what it is today. But now, it is not about the number of banks. It's about really the group of banks. So are you talking to anybody at the moment about the possible no, takeover? No, no. It is one of the, how to say it, uh, 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 taboo in, in Lebanon to talk about these issues. Definitely no. Okay. Uh, uh, what about but things are coming because when you look at the balance sheet of all the banks, you look at their expenses, bottom lines, and so on. You see some banks having really less and less return on equity, some others. So you feel that, if, if, maybe not today, but maybe in two, three years' time, banks will feel the, some banks will feel the heat if they cannot really continue developing. And you would be open to a conversation, basically? with some of these other banks in the future. You see Bank Howdy being part of the broader consolidation theme in of Lebanon? Course, yeah. Of course. You mentioned earlier the breakdown between your domestic market share and your global international presence. Would you like to shift that a little bit more towards international over the next few years? How would you like that balance to develop? It is forced to us. If there is no growth in Lebanon, where, where, where will we be looking for growth? So we have to look for growth for outside Lebanon. We have the people. We have the equity. We look at opportunities. Your venture in Turkey, Odea Bank, has been going through a bit of difficulty. It's been a it's been a hard, a hard time trying to get traction and get market share. How how are you going to get this bank back on a profitable growth track from where you're sitting? Odea Bank. It's, it's instead of talking about Odea Bank, let's say about the bigger issue, which is the economy which is the currency. And all what's happened there is really due to the low growth, high inflation, uh, currency depreciated. Here you see how we have really behaved in Odea Bank. And if you look at Odea Bank, the last three years was profitable years. Last year we have made $85 million, which almost 8.5 eight, eight to 9 percent return on equity. And this year is going to be the same. So you're, you're confident and you're, you're are, happy where the we bank are is confident. At the moment, We are dealing with some difficult files, but uh, we are taking what's needed as a provision, but definitely we are on the right track, yes. Okay. And when you look at the wider region and all the markets that you're present in right now, what are you most excited about? Well, it's still Turkey because there is really room to do, really to see opportunity on the upside or on the downside. There are always opportunity. Egypt is another one because we are well established there. 
And the private banking side arm that we have it, as we have four banks, we consider it as a private, private banking. And there we are start doing more than uh, maybe 12 to 15 percent of our bottom line coming from the private banking side. And this is really has low capital and it is really some of the jewels that we have it in our bank.